Today's edition of the Swing Report covers the new Cobra Dark Speed Fairy Woods. Today we're going to test the LS and the X models, and Kevin here is going to test them for us. And of course, he is very, as a Cobra Golf Club player, very pertinent information for him, so he's going to find all that out today, and we're going to share it with you. So stay tuned for this edition of the Swing Report. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold of Second Swing Golf. Today, covering some new Cobra Dark Speed Fairy Woods. Kevin Kraft is with me from the Columbia store. And uh, well, Kevin, this is a big one. We have a, a toy here that you might be very interested in. Yeah, this is uh, this is something new. Yeah, something it is. Something new and exciting that we've not, we've not seen from Cobra in the past. Yeah, so so this is the Cobra Dark Speed Fairy Woods swing report. Uh, we do not have the Max with us. Correct. So we're only testing the LS and the X. We will do some content on the Max. Stay tuned for that. Um, but the the big one here is the LS. And because uh, in this case, the one we have here, it's a three plus wood, essentially. Mm -hmm. It's a 13 degree standard loft. Mm -hmm. And it's also the titanium club face. Titanium. So you've seen maybe other manufacturers out there have something built kind of like this. Um, and I know you as a player kind of like to have a three wood, strong three wood in the bag in addition to a driver to have something out there that also could chase the fairway, chase down the fairway. Very so, much so. Yep. Um, what about this club is so appealing to you? I know you've hit it a few times, kind yep. of off camera here. We've been yep. toying with it a little bit. Now it's time to film. But what uh, what do you like most about this? Look, feel, and sound all work. Yeah. Um, you know, I love the look of it. I love this new black aesthetic that they've got going yeah. on. I love the matte finish. Uh, the shape of this particular LS head is really good. I, I loved the the look of the LS driver. Just couldn't turn it over. Yeah. So you know that one that one ain't gonna happen. But this one uh, is I, I'm hoping gonna give me an opportunity to, you know, have a Cobra club in for that next club down from yeah. the, from the driver. Um, I've always struggled with Cobra fairway woods because they've been too spinny. Mm -hmm. And if you look at the titanium models that have come out from other manufacturers, they tend to be lower spinning. What little I've done with this so far has been lower spinning. Yeah. So um, as we go through this, uh, I'm hoping that this is going to be kind of that that Cobra answer to the to a club that, that they just haven't had for me in the, right. in the past. And it's not like it's not like I can just go to Cobra and go, hey, we just build me something that I can hit off the right, tee yeah. after the driver, right? Uh, they're going to look at me and just laugh and slam the door. So, <laughs> um, and then they might peek back out and say, thanks for playing our stuff. Uh, but you know, th that's how that would go. So uh, this is this is like if I could have gone to Cobra and and we sat down and we tried to just to develop something that fits your needs. would really help me out yeah. in terms of you know getting a, a cobra product in that i could could really be useful for me this is yeah. this is the one yeah, yeah. and it's um because right now as of right now in filming us yes, i know you change things quite a bit but right now yeah. you have the burner mini correct as sort of that second club correct so and um, it's been but this is absolutely catching your eye i yes. can tell yes. um so but we also have uh the dark speed x with us as well mm -hmm. um a lot of the you know i guess standard um, Fairywood characteristics that you'd be looking for there. Um, but in particular with this series, you have that PowerShell um, kind mm -hmm. of help with AI design uh, hot face. And mm -hmm. so again, that's gonna be forgiveness all over the face, um, kind of an AI design sort of mapping of that club face mm -hmm. where certain areas are a little bit hotter because they're more commonly um, is where the contact is made towards so the toe and the heel. Yeah, utilized. utilized. There utilized. We go. That's a good. That's a good way to put it. Yeah. <laughs> um, also, the, the kind of a refined power bridge also mm -hmm. was you know introduced in the Aerojet series. Refined here, a little bit stiffer kind of connections throughout each of the areas of the club head. Um, you're going to get a little bit more stability there too. Yep. And then also we got to throw in when we talk about the LS model that again the titanium club yep. face construction is a little bit different. That is not available with the X. Correct. So there's some differences there, but. Um, with that said, I think it might be time to hit. So, how, are you, how do you want to do the testing today? Because so I know you want to play that club off the tee. We're going to. I think we're going to do this a couple different ways. Okay. Um, I'm going to set this at 14. I'm going to set this at 14. Okay. We'll test them both off the tee and off the deck. Okay. And then we'll come back to this one and we'll test it the, the, as the I would as yeah. I would set it. Okay. Up. That okay. way we can see the real difference between this one and this one at the same loft, and then. For my craziness, we'll, we'll, <laughs> okay. we'll, we'll adjust it again. Okay, let's okay. do it. Okay. All right, Kevin, we've got the 
Dark Speed X. Yes. Three wood. And so we've got the Link M40X 7F5 shaft. Yes. Wow, I did that. I nailed yes. it. Yes. Nailed it. It's a lot of things to remember. Yeah, there's a lot going on there. Yeah, for sure. But that is the shaft we have in there. So yep. it's an extra stiff. It is. For this, but um, we've also got the dry, or the, excuse me, the club's at 14 degrees. Correct. So how many did you want to, you want to hit just like a few, a few good ones off the turf and the tee? Yeah, and let's, we can... do, let's do five off the deck and three off the tee. Okay. Sound good? I'm actually going to add a tag for off. Uh, okay. Off the turf here too. We'll start with off the turf. Oh, hey, whoa. <laughs> Why are you going right? <laughs> okay. That's kind of how I react when my ball goes over there. It's like, yeah, what, what are you was, doing over there? That was a little, a little shocking. Oh, and just smush the next one. <sighs> that's, called, oh. that's, that's called atonement. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Atoning for my golfing <laughs> sins. That's another really good one. See, these, I know these spin rates down here are a little bit more of what you like. Yeah, they are. Absolutely. Okay, that, that, was, was, good. that was hit well, too. Look at that thing. A little more spin, but not the worst thing off the deck. I know when you're, right. when you're, when you're, when you're hitting off the tee, I know you like to be... Yeah. Yeah. That penetrating ball for yeah. it. But. So we're forgetting about that one, and we're just going to go back hit the, a fifth one here? Is that yeah. Right? Okay. All right. Cool. I totally deleted that one. So Cool. All gone. There it is. Okay. Well, that's pretty good overall. You know. Yeah, it was. Uh, the I know your first one you said you didn't quite catch, which you can kind of yeah. tell here. But yep. after that, you really found a, a groove. Mm-hmm. Um, Whereas on that one swing, I didn't find any grooves at all. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, this this one was out to the right. Yeah. But other yeah. than that, look where these four are. Yeah, that's, that's you know. Do we want to take that one out just for the fun of it? Sure. Oh, look there at that. That's that's more better. Um, that's more better. I agree. Okay, now all let's right. go off the tee. Off here. the tee. Wow. A little higher spin. I mean, that couldn't be straighter. Yeah, that was that was good on the accuracy side of things. I got up a little bit more. I'm very curious on how the spin changes with the LS head. Yeah, yeah. Because even that, I mean, that one was a little bit lower spin. Yeah, that I caught up a little oh, higher on the okay. face. Yeah, so. So that will knock it down then. Yes, for sure. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, I like that one. That was a little tiny bit to the toe. Okay. Right? My misses are going to tend to be a little to the toe. Yep. Yep. So here's our look here. Okay. No, that was the... This one, did you miss this one? Is it a, would you hit it good? I'm trying to... No, I, I you just I, hit it, I hit it solid. It there. just spun a little bit. Okay. I don't know. No, that's that's totally good. Yeah. Um, we have uh, some numbers to look at here, but... Um, I know, you, again, this is Kevin's preference is to have it a lot lower of spinning than, than most. Yeah. Um, so, but I am curious on how this spin, because the spin is relatively similar, at least, and again, this is a smaller sample size. If of shots, within but. 20 RPMs is similar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah right. So, um, the LS head now, let's try this. We'll okay. set this up at, I think you said 14 also degrees 14. to start with. Yes. To my eye, a little better looking club head. Yeah. Um, this doesn't look like it's the the crown c emblem does not look as close to the heel as it does in the x head so subsequently standing over it it looks like there's a whole lot of space mm. up toward the toe um there may not be much difference there but this you looks, just notice it with the l i do see a little yeah, bit of it it feels like with the, the I, X here. I notice it there and i don't really notice it here and maybe it's the shape of this head makes the difference okay um but from a from a visual perspective this one looks cleaner to me okay it, it doesn't draw my attention away the way that one did okay. I, was, I was looking down at it and it just looked like oh i had all this all this space here feeling like i had to almost like I needed to try to catch it more toward the heel. Yeah, um, okay. And I'm sure that there's, you know, I'm sure that's not the case, but. It's more of a visual yes. misrepresentation. Yes, yes. So 
Um, this one looks looks better okay. to me. Yeah. It's kind of similar to the first shot last first, time. First swing, you know. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. oh. Seven feet. Seven feet. Hmm. Yeah. Low spin on that though. Yeah. Yeah. That was caught a little to the toe. That is go. a good ball. Yeah. For not hitting it yeah. kind of solid. It didn't sound yeah. like the other one. No, I didn't couple. get the ball speed I had on the other ones, but that was okay. One foot of curve. Okay. I tried to make sure that one turned over. It did. It did. Yeah, that's smash too. Ooh. Yeah, I like that one, All right? Okay. Wow, a lot of spin. What's up with the spin? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. We're gonna go off the uh, off the tee here. You can just see a quick glance at these numbers. A little more spin. Interesting. With the LS. Yeah. But not so we really. Took out this first one. But not really. One. I mean, look at look at the first four. Right. Yeah. True. More spin variant for yeah. sure. Yeah. All right. Let's go off. Uh, okay. Good golf shot. This is a good golf shot. It's really spinny though. I don't understand. That did not, that came off a good spot on the head. Hmm. I mean, these golf balls are going right down the middle. They're spinning a little bit more than maybe we were anticipating. But. Yeah, definitely more than I was anticipating. Justin Thomas. Yep. Oh, wow. Oh, it came back. That's a good ball. That's in the fairway. <laughs> Maybe my hands weren't as late as they felt. <laughs> Maybe not. Um, okay. So, interesting numbers here. Yeah. I will bring up all of the circle, circles and numbers and shapes and sizes here. So, the LS version spinning a little bit more in both... Uh, you know, cases here. I will say though, <laughs> we had a couple, you know, we had coupled here on the, off the turf with the LS that yeah. were pretty low spinning and yeah. kind of knuckly. And that's a little bit what we thought it would be. Mm -hmm. um, but the one, I mean, you hit a lot solid up here towards the top that just, they spun at 3000. I mean, yeah. that's just the way they, they played out. That's kind of surprising. I yeah. think um, I'm curious. I, I don't know if this is just the today thing. If it is, you know, I mean, if you go get, fit and go through a fitting yourself viewer and you see something different i would not be surprised to see the, the x actually be the higher spinning club for most people yeah so yeah. uh but I, what else does this i guess do you take away from all of that up there so at the lofts at which we hit this yeah um so everything we, is set right now at, at 14 at degrees. 14 degrees yeah. so i'm not going to carry my Fair, my first club down from driver at 14 degrees. So I'm going to carry yeah, it, you at, need it at 12 yeah. or 11 and a half. So I'm hoping we'll see when we hit those next that we get less, uh, less spin. Um, it's weird that it, they both spun more. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, turf, turf. Yeah, not much difference between, goodness, 13 and, and 20 RPM difference. I, much less difference there than I was expecting. I was really expecting off the tee to drive that that spin rate down a little bit more. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, overall distances, can you scroll to yeah. show those? Okay, so 244 with the X off the turf, 241. 246 and 247. So two different driver or two different fairway woods at the same loft doing the same thing. The only thing I'm surprised at was that titanium wasn't faster. I really thought, yeah. I thought this was going to spin a little less and be a little bit faster. And it, it didn't, well, didn't here's what we'll do. We still have to try out the Kevin Kratz setting. Yes. Yes. So, um, let's 
Well, well, you tell me what the build is now that you're going to do here. As okay, you so do here. I'm so going to... This is, this is yeah. the Kevin Craft 3-wood build yeah. here. We're going to... I know it's the LS head. Yeah. So because I'm looking for something that is going to be 90% off the tee, yeah. uh, I'm going to take this down from 14 down to 12. Okay. I'm going to knock two degrees off of it. Keep it on the draw setting. Okay. I still have the heaviest weight in the, all the way up in the front. Okay, so you're really trying to knock the spin down and yep. turn it over. Yep. And then are you gonna hit all these off the tee? I'm gonna, no, I'm gonna actually okay. hit them both because I'm interested to see what, what kind of numbers I can generate with a 12 degree head off sure. the deck. What, uh, then, which one are we doing first, tee or third? So we'll do three off the deck and five off the tee. I'll do five off the tee first. Okay. I'm gonna kind of swap the yep. swap those numbers. That's good with me. Bit. All right, we got a different build here. So what what spin rate would you be looking for for a club like this? So I'm looking for something low mid two thousands. Okay. Okay. Like very much like a driver. Yeah. Yeah. It's just shorter. Got a little bit more loft. Easier for me to turn over on those holes where yeah. you know the the driver yip. You know, I walk up to the tee box and I'm just like, yeah, nope. <laughs> Not driver. <laughs> like, I, I just, I know I can't hit it, yeah. right? I, I can't make a, I can't make a positive swing. So I've got to be able to, I got to be able to commit to that, to that swing, wh whatever that club's going to be. So, you know, having a club that I can, I can hit out there and hit it, you know, 275, 280 is, yeah. is what I'm really looking for. Okay. So let's see if this is the, okay. the one here. Okay. Interesting. Was that a little low on the face, maybe? It was just a little bit. Okay. We have cracked 150 ball speed, 279. Okay, there we that go. might be what you're looking for that right there. That is indeed what I'm looking for, and that spin rate's what I'm what yeah. I'm looking for too. And that's the shot shape I'm looking for. <laughs> that's everything you're looking. That's for. everything I'm <laughs> looking for. See, even that one out to the right a little bit, yep. the spin stayed not as low as probably you're hoping, but it's not in the yeah, 3,000s. I mean, open face is going to spin a little yeah. bit more. Um, it was hitting a good spot, though. That was hit hard, too. Yep. Oh, yeah. There we go. 275. Way off the toe. I tried to kill that one. I mean, hey. Got some 15, 23 knuckleball spin there. <laughs> okay, so there you go. All right, look, that one's still in the fairway, I think. Well, let's do the test here. This, I yeah. mean, it's not, this isn't a massive fairway, so. Oh, just oh, barely off. Okay, well, guess what? Uh, if that ball's not out of bounds, I'm okay. I mean, that's very much in play. It is very much in play. And that's all this club's supposed to do is just keep yeah. it in play. All right, so three off the deck. We will go off the deck, okay. Ooh, there's some speed right away. Oh, that did not feel like that. I'm surprised. That did not feel mm. like that. But that's going to be the bigger miss for me off the deck, for sure. Yeah, I think most people that is probably the case on a club that low aloft. Yeah. That one's not going right. No, it is not. That is pounded. Well, I turned it over. <laughs> so let, let's go through the numbers here when we move it to 12 degrees. Okay. Here's the dispersion, kind of. I mean, we can. We got a lot, a lot of things going on up off, here. Off the deck, I, I, you know. My expectation for this golf club off the deck is not what it is off the tee. Yeah. You know, my expectation off the tee is this is going to be a fairway finder. Yep. My expectation off the deck is... It's going to um, be up by the green somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. <laughs> get, get me up there, you yeah. know, and if I, if I get lucky and I square it up perfect and it flies nice and straight, it's not really going to fly that high, so probably something I'm going to try something and run up a little up bit. The green. Yeah. Um, then okay. I'm fine. Yeah. Right, right. So off the tee are these shots here. 
um, that I know you were the most kind of mm -hmm. paying the most attention to. Um, you had a one on one club speed. You got the ball speed up to well, I think a one or two of the shots was 150. Yeah. The spin at 2607 on average, 247 to 273. Um, a lot closer to the numbers you were looking for out of yes. this club. Yes. A lot closer. Yes. I know you were kind of saying 275, 280 is roughly the total yeah. number you're looking for. Yep. Maybe the spin even can even drop it down even maybe yeah. a little bit more. And you yeah. can, is there can that club go down any more in loft or is it? It can go down another half degree. Okay. The only problem there is that if I go down another half, I can't put it on draw setting. Okay. So um, I could then swap weights out to put more of the bias in the heel side. And yeah. that'll be something that I may end up, I may end up messing with to, yeah. to see what the, what the right combination is going to be. Same thing with, with shaft. Like the likelihood is I'm probably going to put a Ventus in this. Okay. Um, just the Ventus blue just really works very, very well for me for a fairway wood. Um, so that's the likelihood sure. of what I'll, what I'll probably put in there. So, yeah. And then, you, I mean, that's the cool thing about club fitting is, yeah. You know, we can test with sort of the stock components here and, and play around with some a few different things, but it's only the the tip of the iceberg in terms of the options that yeah. a player has. So yeah. to get you that close to the numbers you're looking for um, with all these other options yeah. out there is, you know, yeah. that's a positive sign. Sure, absolutely. So um, I think what we can conclude is that the dark speed fairy woods are hot. They yep. are... I, they give you some pretty consistent performance. I mean, you hit the ball pretty well in all these scenarios off the tee, off the turf. Yeah. Um, and they, I mean, there's some ball speed packed in there too. There I mean, is, yeah. That, that's absolutely. nothing different though for yeah. a Cobra Fairy Woods. So. And it it feels better. Uh, I personally was not a huge fan of the feel of the, the Aerojet Fairway Wood. I've struggled with Cobra Fairway Woods the whole time I've been on staff with them. Yeah. Uh, just spin has been too high, too high, too high for what I've been trying to achieve. Yeah. Right. So um, this one is the one that I think may change all that. Yeah. 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 They got, they got it a lot closer to what you in particular yeah. are looking for. So yeah. um, they made some changes. Yep. Um, pretty good series here. I think, uh, I think yeah. we can take it from there and wrap it up here in the final thoughts. Yeah. All right, Kevin, testing complete on the, well, two of the three Cobra Dark Speed Fairywood models. Yep. Um, you know, we saw some things that we expected to see. We saw some things that maybe we didn't expect to see that uh, we'll have to do some more testing and playing around with and yeah. getting some feedback from others to see if that yeah. proves true in the future. So, sure. Um, we'll kind of go through each model here. This The, the uh, Dark Speed Max is the one we don't have with us, but Correct. let's quickly just kind of go through where Cobra is aiming that one at yeah. and what type of player. It's a little more draw bias mm -hmm. driver so anybody that has a, a hard time with you know losing a fairway wood out to the right that yep. that x is going to help try to correct that a little bit mm -hmm. um it's gonna be the most forgiving uh yeah. of, of the group um mm -hmm. so you know pretty much anybody could play it but it's going to be mainly designed for somebody yep. that's, that's looking for some correction yep. don't have to play it with the weight in the heel you can throw the weight in the in the in the back and right. have it be have it be a, a you know, very similar to the X. Right. Also yeah. of note, that standard uh, loft on the through it is 15 and a half. Okay, so, so a little more. Um, a little, a little bit more okay. loft there to yep. play with. So yep. the X now, um, this is kind of the more all-encompassing uh, option that yeah. will fit the most players. So having tested this one, what do you think about this one? It's good. It, it feels good. Um, I Personally, I like the look of the LS a little bit better. Yeah. It just looks a little cleaner to me. Uh, it's a little more compact, so I, I do like that kind sure. of thing. Even though I can't play it in the in the driver, I can play it in the fairway wood. Yeah. Um, but it's good. Numbers were were excellent. Uh, yep. Both we tested both heads at 14 degrees, and they were mm -hmm. a little more similar than I expected. I yeah. I thought this would would drive spin down a little bit more, give me give us a little bit more ball speed and and separate it a little bit. But yeah. um, that's Okay. Right. Well, and, and as we've mentioned, you know, I think there will be more of a difference once, you know, in a larger sum of fittings and a larger sample yes. size will yes. probably prove that out. But um, in the LS now, this is where we played around a little bit more just yeah. to kind of fit a little bit of what you're looking for and your yeah. preferences. So um, the LS model, I mean, let's, the golfer that's going to fit this is probably someone looking for kind of low spin, low launch. Uh, yeah. Or maybe someone that spins it a ton and needs to bring that down. Yeah. Somebody that's, 
that really does like a, a driver replacement, especially yeah. in the three plus. Right. right? Exactly. You're yeah. not going to you're really not going to buy a three plus very often unless you're looking to hit it off the tee a bunch. Mm -hmm. Right. Because um, it, it does. It's going to push up against the driver to at least yep. to a bit of an extent. So, um, you know, typically faster swing speed players, though, you know, sometimes the faster swing speed player doesn't need a three wood because they hit it so far that it's. Right. Useless, mm -hmm. right? So um, somebody that does spin it a lot with a fairway wood can can do fine with this. We have a good bit of adjustment to the to the head. Again, something that we can play around with to get to get yep. the numbers to be where we want it to be. Um, you know, I'll have to do a you know a phone in and and say, oh, I got it set up exactly right, and here's here's exactly where it's at, right? Yeah. So uh, shaft wise and, and everything right. else. But there's a lot we can do with these heads to to get you the performance that you're looking for. Yeah, um, and then, I mean, there's, like we mentioned, all kinds of options. There are at least, well, there's three loft options with the Max. There's four, actually, with the, the X, and then there is three here also with the LS. So um, between, you know, like the LS, for example, has, uh, you know, the 13, mm -hmm. 14 and a half, and then a 17 and a half, about yeah. five wood. So there's a bunch of options. It's the stock shafts, everything. It's important to just go get fit and make sure you know what components, what settings are best for you, and that's, Kind of what we went through a little bit with Kevin today, and so um, I know he's got some more experimenting to, to, to yeah, do here. Yeah. Um, but this um, is very likely to be something that I'll spend a good bit of time with yeah. and, uh, and trying to get it dialed in exactly for sure. I want it. Yeah, I mean that's got the Kevin Craft stamp of approval. Um, the Cobra Dark Speed Fairway Woods. Yeah. Schedule your fitting. Uh, get them in the bag in 2024. You'll hit a lot better shots both off the tee and off the turf with the Fairway Woods. So, um, Kevin, thanks for hitting all the shots today, dialing things in, and giving your insight. My pleasure.